guys. So today I've got two new products from Bliss. Uh, the Renew and Smooth, which is a night serum with uh, some exfoliating acids in it. And they also have their Glow and Hydrate, which is meant to be a morning serum, which contains niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. Uh, both of these are rather affordable and, as you notice, very well packaged. I love the packaging. I don't think I've reviewed a Bliss product yet. So when they came out with these kind of newer, a little bit more grown-up type products, I had to give them a try. So let me talk first about the Renew and Smooth. So this is a combination of glycolic and polyhydro polyhydro <laughs> polyhydroxy acids. And really quick, I'm going to do a pH test for you because... Uh, how effective these work is really dependent upon the pH of them. And uh, so with pH, uh, pH for exfoliants, you want them to usually be between 3 and 4 for them to be uh, the most beneficial. And when I pH tested this one, it appears to be on the lower end of 4, uh, on the upper end of 4. So I would say this is pretty close to like 4.5. So it's not going to be as exfoliating as you want it to be. So it's a little bit outside the range. Between three and four is ideal. Four and a half is a little bit higher. So you will still get some exfoliation, just not as much as you want. And generally, PHAs are more gentle as well. So, But it's a really nice serum. It layers well. It does have a touch of fragrance in it, but it's got a really nice gel texture, which layers well with other products, and it works well in your... Uh, evening routine, you can add it in your routine if you don't currently use an exfoliant. So it works out really nice, layers well, uh, absorbs pretty quickly. A uh, little bit of fragrance, but it does dissipate almost immediately, and the packaging is great. So adding this into my routine, I always hesitate when I'm mixing, changing my exfoliants to try something new because you just never know how it's going to go. But this one added in nicely. I didn't have any issues with it at all, so I was very happy with it. Uh, although the exfoliant pH is a little bit out of the range, but it still will do some good exfoliant. So if you're newer to exfoliants, this might be a, a good way to kind of work one into your routine to start with, and it's rather affordable and contains some other good beneficial ingredients so your skin won't get dry or irritated. So like it, could have been a little bit better with the pH, but overall it's a good one. Um, their Glow and Hyd Hydrate Serum is also a really nice product with niacinamide in there. So if you have uh, skin tone issues, want to brighten your skin up, you have uh, scarring or acne prone skin, adding something with niacinamide will really help. This one also contains a lot of good beneficial ingredients and hydrating ingredients. So uh, this was also pretty easy to add into my morning routine. Uh, the glow is a little bit, uh, I don't know, over, over mentioned. It really doesn't add much of a glow, but it does hydrate your skin so you're not dry. So let me also pH test this one. Uh, the pH isn't as big of a deal because you don't have those active uh, exfoliant ingredients in there. But it does have a little bit of fragrance, just like the other serum. Thankfully, the fragrance in the, the uh, morning serum is almost completely unnoticeable. So uh, this one, the pH is pretty close to 6, which is just fine for a uh, morning product that doesn't contain any actives. But the niacinamide in there will certainly help. And it does layer well. You can add it into your routine without any issues. Uh, yeah, so I like the niacinamide in there. So if you have breakout prone tendencies, this serum with niacinamide is a great one to add in there because niacinamide really helps brighten skin, helps prevent breakouts and things like that. So um, really like the combination of the two. They did a good job. Both affordable, well packaged, a little bit of fragrance in both of them, but not so much so that it's overwhelming and it dissipates almost immediately and affordable. So uh, anyway, so those are kind of my thoughts on the new Bliss products, and I'm excited for them to see what else they come up with uh, now, now that they're kind of more grown up. I know some of their products just are a little bit kind of, the packaging is all, it's all about the fun packaging and kind of a, uh, I don't know, more marketing than the actual product is worth, but these are solid products that you can rely on. So anyway, those are my thoughts on it. I'm interested uh, if you have any other favorites from Bliss or if you've tried one of these or both of them, definitely leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. Check out nobsbeauty.com and I will see you tomorrow.